what is this? What do you think it is? I don't know if these are four different kinds of animals. Fish. You buy more? Four feet. Do you and Mike, Mike put the fish away? Do you want to gonna do it now? Yeah, the fish, yeah. Where you put it? The big tank. Big, big tank with all the big catfish. Okay, I need to put that one real fast for I need to finish the regression for this almost close for three o'clock. No, it's not. It's, it's two o'clock. It's one o'clock. One thirty. No, that's not three o'clock. You gotta take good care of the fish. <laughs> He's gonna be good. I don't know why you buy too much fish. The fish will die. You spend a lot of money. No, no, yes. see, sir. This yes. is 40 inches. Well, the fish is 40 inches. That's good. Maybe 20 pounds. That's pretty big. Can you op open it for me? There's one or two? One fish. Okay, this is what we need to do, Caesar. We're gonna use this cooler here. I think it's the biggest thing we got. It's the only thing. Can we get him in the cooler? Is, it, is he too big? That's no, good for here. He's good? Yeah. We take the fish, we open up the plastic, we put the fish in the cooler, make sure he's not stressed for lack of oxygen. I think we are focusing on the light policy. Okay. Hey, speak English, guys. I'm making a video. Just take the whole bag and put the bag in here. Yeah, but I need to take the one first. For the, no, the... just cut it. You can't just cut it. Just get it in here and then cut it and release the fish. Okay, now, Caesar, you can cut it and then pull out the plastic. You could have just cut the rubber band. There we go. All right. Okay. Now, Tom, can you pull? Yes. Just pull that out. Wow. Ooh, that's, that's a big really catfish. Big. How much are you paying for that one? How much are you paying? One dollar. No, there's no one dollar. <laughs> okay. No, you say you take it out of the plastic, right? Yeah, yeah, but don't don't suffocate the fish. Take the plastic out. Okay. There you, yep, there you go. Believe it or not, everybody, this fish here is gonna be the smallest fish in the tank. Okay. So we're forming a bucket brigade here. My well water has a pH of 7.8 and it's fairly hard. And I have lots of fish and they really don't die. Small fish I have a hard time with. But big fish I really don't have a problem. But we do want to acclimate the fish. So out with the old, in with the new. We are going to repeat this three times over a 30 minute period. After that we're gonna release most of the water from the cooler so it'll be light enough we can lift up and put into the 3,000 gallon tank. Just for reference, that is the largest trash barrel that Home Depot sells. It's like an industrial sized trash barrel. The red tailed cat is well over 40 inches long, and I think that big ripsaw cat is approaching 48 inches. I have Tom helping me here because, I, like I said, I'm not wearing my sling, but I still have a broken arm, so I can't lift this. This is a marble Akara. Oh, he's beautiful. Where do you think we should put him, Tom? So, Tom, I don't think he's aggressive, but he, he can swallow other fish. 
Tom, you want to acclimate him in the, yes. in that Tupperware thing? Okay. Wait, Caesar, don't put that fish in there yet. I have a different idea. I'm gonna get a big flower pot and we'll scoop up the fish in the big flower pot. All the water will run out and then we could put the fish into the water. Thank you, Caesar. Oh, hey, you got it. I got it. I got it. I, I'm, oh, I'm ah. In theory, when you have a fish, in a bag for 24 hours, there's high ammonia in the bag and you don't want to introduce that water into the new tank. Okay, I did the hard one, you guys do the easy one. In today's video, we are gonna clean up some plants left over from the landscape show. We're gonna plant a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're gonna pepper it into the landscape. We're also gonna go downtown for a special tree operation. When I purchased this property, it had nothing but the large oaks. There were no ponds, there were no plants, no palm trees of any kind. The other day, my friends asked me if I planted over a thousand palm trees on this nine acre piece of property. And I said, maybe. That's enough planting for now. We're gonna load up and go downtown. I think now is a great time to tell you guys what this special operation is all about. When we were at the landscape show, someone approached me and said they have two large ponytail palms in their yard. And they said they'll give them to me for free. I just have to remove them and then make the place look pretty. We gotta fill the hole with soil and they're great big ponytail palms. I don't know what that is, 15 feet tall? Maybe it weighs, I don't know, three, four, 5,000 pounds. Well, that's one tree out of the ground. Let's get the other one. Oh. How strong I am, Caesar? Hey, 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 hey. What? You hit. What we got to do here is we got to pick this up in the middle like a seesaw. We can't let this hit the ground hard or it'll break the stem off. But we can't have this thing flip up like this because we got to get it underneath the power lines. So we want to get it balanced in the middle and then a couple of us can hold the head to make sure it doesn't hit the ground really hard. And that's what we're trying to do here. We really don't have no idea what we're doing until we do it. <laughs> yeah, I meant that. When it comes to rigging trees, there's no rhyme or reason to how we're putting a strap or where we're putting it. We're just trying to find a balance point. It's not the same thing over and over again. While Jim and the crew is loading up the ponytail palm, I'm gonna explain why a ponytail palm is not a palm. A ponytail palm is a tree-sized succulent from Mexico. 
Ponytail palms are known in Mexico to reach a height of 30 feet. They don't often get that tall here in Orlando, Florida. It is a popular house plant and in the house it rarely gets more than four feet tall. We pulled both the trees. Jim is tying them down to his truck right now. We promised the homeowner we're gonna leave the property nice and clean. We just gotta fill the holes with soil that we brought from Holt Nurseries and then we gotta clean up all the trash. And then we can go home for lunch, Caesar. Then right. In just over two hours, we removed these two trees and we made the yard pretty again. Ready to plant some new plants, like suggested to the homeowner, I'll donate some bananas. Now let's head back to the nursery and I'll find the perfect spot to plant these trees. Look how cool this looks, everyone. But I want to put it in a place where it's going to pop. So I'm thinking of taking this in this exact orientation, just like this. And I'm going to put it right out here. Right out here. You said that you planted plants in here? Yes. Okay, maybe you one day, maybe you... Try you trying again. You say I'm a bad driver? Yeah. So we'll put it out here. <laughs> Maybe, ah, uh, do we split the difference, guys? Do we put it halfway between the two? I mean, the two. I would do in between the two, but I mean, I'm counting with Caesar, though. I don't know if I would put it. Them tracks right there are from your propane guy today. I would, it has to look good. I know, I know that. I, I agree with you. I think they look great. I really do. Okay, so one here. And look how good this looks here. Doesn't that look awesome just like that? Yeah. We're going to put it right here. And then moving this guy and putting it right here. We flip it 180. These trees are so gorgeous. I just have to find the perfect spot. I need your advice. Do you like it? You don't like it? As long as they don't say nothing to you about being underneath the power line. I, how long will it take to grow? I'll be dead. To hit the power line? I'm thinking 10 years. I don't even know if they get that big. It looks good there. I think it's a little too deep though. Here, can I look? That looks like this way. Oh, no pressure. I have four people watching this crazy man trying to decide where to put these plants. Please let this look good. Can you, I'm sorry, Jim. I mean, I don't care if this is all we get done. Can we try seeing what it looks like right here? Spin it, 180? Yeah, spin it 180, put it right here. Can you break that branch? I could probably put him on the fork too. Can we try that? Yeah. I just hope I like it after all this tree trimming. That's the other, we wanted to spin at 180. Right, it's leaning in. We want it to lean the other way. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Here, Caesar, bring this, bring this back here. Bring this back. Can we try it right here? I like it, I like them both. It's been a long day, but I found the perfect place for these ponytail palms. Every day I come in and every day I go out, we're gonna drive right by these plants. We will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe.